Well, good morning, fisher people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV. It is Sunday, the 29th of October, and before we get going, happy birthday to Headley Norris, my brother, all the way in Australia. He will be 55. <laughs> so, happy birthday, son. Hope you have a great day today. Right, on to the fishing. Um, I'm here on my way to, I can't believe it, bloody McDonald's because we've turned up to occupation, it's shut. Woody had eggshells all over the bedroom, we've had an extra hour in bed and he's still late. He's overlaid, hasn't he? Eggshells everywhere. Can't believe it. He's absolutely useless. So, he's taking me to McDonald's. I won't be having a lot with me. A cup of coffee. I don't know, but I can't stand their bread cakes. They're just not, it doesn't taste like real bread. Rank. So, what are we doing today? It is the sixth year of the Barnsley feeder pairs that David set up six years ago. Uh, we fished every one apart from the COVID year. Um, I was supposed to be partnering Gav Smith, but he's been called out to this Palestinian protest and track or something, I don't know. He's a policeman. So, um, I have now got a new partner, I've never met the guy, I don't know him, Paul Lancaster. Apparently he's an Elsica specialist, he's fishing at Elsica. So your pairs, you have yourself fishing on one lake, which I'm fishing at Fleet's Dam. Came, uh, I think it will be section last year. Um, and Paul's fishing at Elsica. So, for example, Tommy Pickering's fishing at, uh, again, another example. Tommy Pickering's fishing at Fleet's Dam, and Nick Speed's fishing at Elsica, and so on. There's 28 pairs, so great turnout. Absolutely wonderful turnout. So, me and Dave's organising it at Fleet's. I can't believe it's late. 20 minutes late, actually. I mean, we should have had his breakfast and done dust and that. I don't know. What is it with these young uns? Can I get out of feather? <laughs> with an extra hour in bed. I'm just like, what? I'm chomping at bit at about five o'clock, way this morning. <laughs> so, so I'm sure we'll be doing, I'll be doing a bit more recording uh, during the draw and all that sort of stuff. So that's what it's all about. Really looking forward to it. Me and Gav Smith came fourth last year. Woody and Graham Wall won it last year, the first time they've won it. So um, not sure where, we, Dave, Dave at the minute says we need to be in the teens. He says there's some good lakes coming out from there, but it, it was round about the 29s and the pegs opposite before, so I don't know. You get what you get and you can only do your best. So uh, let's hope there's a few fishes in front of me and in front of Paul. And uh, we'll see you guys at the draw.
it before. I think it might be underwater. We've got to be careful. Dave's not happy because he's in 30s. Apparently all the fish, I don't know, all the fish are this end and I think I'm a bit further down. Dave says I'm all right, but I never believe Dave. He always says I've drawn flyers, <laughs> but <laughs> always. So peg 59 it is, let's get down there. A couple of feeder rods, a bait at rod, that's it, jobs are good. Un. Right, we'll see you during the match on peg 59. Um, I'm not unhappy with this area here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm sure I was over there last time and there were some fish here and, and Woody, if I'm right, was somewhere up up here and he won the he think he won the section from there. And in fact, I mean, you can see that van, that's Tidsy. He's drawn an absolute flyer. The matches have been won from over there the last couple of matches, but what I will say is it's been bomb and pellet and waggler, completely different to what we're doing today. But what it does tell me is there's fish in the area, so I think I'm in the right area. The lads, well, they've gone now, lads behind me say, yeah, there's fish around here, so happy with that. It's feeder only, um, so it's a dead simple match. I'm all ready, there's half an hour to go. Um, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I've clipped up to about 25 meters with my bait up feeder down here because there's nobody in nobody in this peg here. I might have a look down here, but I've never I've never caught a thing in margins ever at uh, fleets, apart from small stuff. So slightly to me right here, I'm gonna have 25 meters and I'm gonna be putting six mils and corn. Capped off with micros. That's there, so I'll be feeding that, but I'll be starting. There's nobody in this peg. So, and then there's an angler. So that's how it's been pegged out. Uh, an angler, miss one, angler, miss one. So I'm gonna go slightly left um, towards the empty peg over there and start, uh, probably start off in the middle and have a couple of yards to the left if there's nothing. I can work back there and the same here. I can go a little bit further across if I want further out because there's, no, there's nobody here. So towards the middle, just short of the middle, I won't be going past the middle I know they seem to hang about where this heron is and the aerator. Oh, where this aerator is in the middle here. Um, that is an area, but everybody seems to concentrate on sort of 25, 30 meters, bomb and pellet, bomb and waggler. That's what they've been feeding on. So there's no reason not to go on those lines. So 25 meters short in front of me. Um, I'm not going to chuck it any further. I want to leave all that water for my long line. Um, and I think it's feed, feed that up, give it a try every now and again, have an hour or so in the middle, hope to pick a few fish up. I might put something down in the margin. I mean, the lovely margins, look at them. But trust me, every single time I've come here, I've baited the margin up and never had a bite. And I've spoke to Alan Hansen, the owner of this place, and he said, you might nick one if, you, if you're quiet, he said, but those two lines are the line. So as you can see the bait, it's dead simple. It's micros, I've got some more of those. I've got fours and six mils in there for baiting up on my short line, along with some corn. I can change to a, because of my little bait up rod that I've got here, I can change that and put a little wind feeder on and put corn on or a pellet if I want. There my wafters, there my, that's my smelly stuff. This is just to check my wafters. Oh. Tackle tidy, I've got to get that out yet. So we need to sort that out, put all my bits and bobs in there. Lovely little piece of kit that, I love it. Uh, two or three dead reds on a pound, on the method can work. So basically I've got a 12 foot Matt Parabolics uh, SUV with a 30 gram feeder on there, elasticated, and the Superior uh, Carbon Active um, 10 foot method there with a uh, that's the 4000 centrist that's the five uh, extremity five thousand is it five thousand five twenty five twenty I'm losing it so there we go bit of ground bait down here for later that's a bit of the old snap crackling pop that I like to put in I like to put some dry micros in now and again just I don't know in my head it gives it a little bit of fizz um, and it works it does work I put them on and yeah you can get one or two bites. It's not like a secret bait, it just helps. 
Woody is 39, I'm not sure where he's found. I think he's over here somewhere. Oh, I don't know. He's round here in somewhere, I think. I can't see his van, so I think he's down there. He's not happy, because he hasn't drawn his usual flyers. But that don't mean out. It's like when I hammered him when I was in Dead Man's Bay at Hayfield. He could be in Crap Peg like I was in Crap Peg at Hayfield. He could have everybody. He never mentioned that, did he? Yeah. I was the worst peg at Hayfield. He drew an absolute rocket ship. And I absolutely hammered him. He never put it on Facebook, neither. <laughs> I don't know, you've got to get a little bit of payback because he's still half giving me some stick, doesn't he? So, so there you go, dead simple match. A little bit of patience, keep baiting up, and let's just empty oil. Over and out, see you during the match. Testing, 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 one, two, three, four. Well, I thought it were recording early, I'm hoping it is. It just turned off, so I don't know if it's on a timer for recording or what it shouldn't be. But here we go, first cast, first fish of the day. That is a decent fish. Went round after two and a half minutes, I bet it's taken me five minutes to get him in. Good one. Oh, he is. He's a good eight, nine pound. That's a right start, we'll have that. We will have that. Oh, and it was only, he's got like a little cut on the side of his mouth and it were ready for pulling out. So just in the nick of time, folks. You need a bit of luck now and again, you need a bit of luck. Well, there we go. Let's get back in. Well, this is three casts later. I'm struggling to sink me line a load of leaves as you can probably just see. And I couldn't sink my line <laughs> right paid, but this has gone round after eight minutes. The two fish coming out. One, but every fish counts, folks. Lovely. It's probably about three pound or so. minutes 35 40 minutes I'm gonna rebate my 25 meter line just keep it topped up Oh. 
and then some with some corn in. Not putting it in exactly the same spot, I want a nice feeding area for them. So a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, one a bit long, one a bit short. See, when I'm clipped up on this, I won't be clipped up on my uh, method. never know how big or aggressive they're going to be so I don't want to risk having to try and do my clip. Got a couple there. Bit of the old magic juice. Magic juices, you can't beat magic juices. Everybody loves magic juices. them leaves. That's about a yard or so to the left of where I was before. Yes, that's all sunk. Nice one. Down it first 40 minutes or so. Very happy. I think if you get more about it early, I think £50 plus, is, I would have thought it's going to get you quite high up there in the uh, in the zone. Even though they've had 100 and odd pounds, like I said earlier, they were, they've been catching well on pellet waggler and, and bomb, but obviously we're just feeder. And there we go, we're in. The trap is set. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, I had a smaller car. And this is my fourth one. I keep looking around, there's one or two fish coming out, but definitely holding me on here. Let's just hope it keeps up, folks. Trust him to start running towards me. I thought you want to come up then. He looked like he did. And then he changed his mind. Cheeky monkey. Come on, son. Ah, they're lively. They're not massive, but they're lively. Come on. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Remember that. Babe. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> not saying that to Woody. <laughs> That'll do, Dave. That'll do. Yeah, a bit bigger. Chunky little unit. <laughs> bit like Jamie opposite me. <laughs> Chunky little unit. It'll be about four pound. So we're happy with that. You've got a decent scrap up for sure. 
Right, it's that time. Rebate my uh, 25 metre line. Let's get this wafter untangled. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Well, 30 seconds, that's gone round. First positive pull, the others have been little bites. You'd think they were bream, but that was no messing. It would have just kept going and going. No striking, no drop back or all like that, just straight round, beautiful. Nice positive bite. What I will say folks, just, a, just something for you to remember here. I've cast out earlier and had three casts and not a sign. I forgot to check my wafter and when I looked at my wafter, it wasn't sat right. Change the wafter so it was sat right. So you've got a flat hook and your wafter should be sticking up. And I've had three fish and three chucks. Yeah. Three cast no bites with a wafter that won't sat right. So just something for you to remember. I always have a tub of water at the side. Where's this going? Don't want him in these roots here. Go away. Don't like it when there's like some branches and stuff hanging down there. Don't like that. Here's away. And away. Watching my white house. And away. About three and a half to four pound, I'd say again. So we'll put four pound down. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm even checking them. After every time I have a fish as well, so. Something I never used to do. I've been doing it for the last sort of six months or so. And I'd like to say it's made a difference, but of course I've not been, not been doing very well lately, but it definitely gives you confidence. You know that everything's sat right, so just something for you to bear in mind. You don't have to take any notice if you don't want, but I'm keeping doing it. Right, that's sat there. Take me time getting that right. No point doing it in five seconds, it not being right, and sat there 15 minutes without a bite. Might as well know you've got it right, that's my motto. Let's give it another go. A little bit higher than I should have cast it, but it's gone in nice. Went in with an, a plop, but just from a little bit higher than I, I wanted it to. One, two, three. There. That's sunk. I'm just having a tip under the water because these bloody leaves. It's not too bad at the minute, but I'm catching all my line and pulling my rod around and all sorts. It's not too bad now. Time it on. So from the last cast to landing that fish and chucking back out, five minutes, 30 seconds. Be all right, every five minutes, 30 seconds, won't it? Brilliant. I'm just gonna leave it running, see if it goes again. Tempting fate. 
Will it go? Go on, Tip. And away. No, it's not going round after 30 seconds this time. Oh. Yeah. Being greedy, being greedy. Right, there we go. So, rebated that. I'll give it another 10 or 15 minutes and I'll put another couple of feeder fulls out. Not tried the short line, no point just yet. I'm getting one or two fish. Not prolific, but steady away. Very happy indeed. I've got about 21 pound ish. Um, how long we got? What? I don't know. When did we kick off? An hour and a half in, so. Not too bad, I don't suppose. Spent seven or eight minutes baiting up. So I was probably fishing after about ten, nine or ten minutes. An hour and twenty minutes, so twenty-one pound just feeder fishing. It's all right. Steady this time of year, I think. Mind you, it is mild. They have been catching plenty. Eight, over now. Oh, what a real quiet hour, but. Every 20 minutes or so I've kept baiting that short line up. Just started to move to me right on that long line slightly. Change the colour wafter. And uh, it's gone round after five minutes, so I've had an hour biteless at least an hour. I think Dave's doing alright, I've just thought to him, he's had six carp and some skimmers. He's not doing too bad, he's doing better than that. He's doing better than he thought. He's come to life, this now. Yeah, I'm coming in nice and steady here. He's just gone by me. Come up then. It's a nice one as well, about five pound I think. I hope. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, it's four or five pound maybe. Have a look at his hoot. I'm in strange bites today, though, I'll tell you. The weirdest bites ever. Oh, he's been hooked a few times in exactly the same spot. Looked a bit sore, that son. I'm going to go for four and a half pound. I'll have to put five on the. Um, five, yeah, I'm going to put four. I'll put, no, I'll put five because it takes it up to 30. Might not be 30. <laughs> Just makes you feel good. Right, so how long have we got left? Oh, we've got plenty of time yeah. There's two hours and twenty minutes left, so let's get back. about 35, 40 minutes left. Um yeah, see you later. Um it's just out of death this last two hours. I've had one fish in two hours, so I'm still on that sort of 28 to 30 pound mark, I think. I might, be, I might have got it wrong, I don't know. Could be less, it could be more. Um, tried the short line. Had a few indications, but they were just skimmers. I had one skimmer about this big. I give that a good half hour or so. Just to rest the long line. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I've gone back out long. Not a sign, it's just motionless. It doesn't matter what I try changing wafters and things, it's just gone dead. I was just about to say, there's half an hour left or so and it's gone dead. I've not had a bite for two hours, first bite for ages. I'm still on that sort of 30, 28 to 30 pound mark. I saw a fish top out there, so I've gone where I saw the fish top. That's been in six and a half minutes. <laughs> just as I turn the camera back on, it's gone round. I just had to reset the camera, that's how we're on. Yeah. Dave's doing alright on 39, he's, he'd had about 8k 
car up when I spoke to him. There's about half an hour left. I've been on the short line. A few indications, but all I had was a skimmer. I don't think this is the biggest fish. It's better than nothing that I've been getting earlier. The guy in blue gablino gear next to the peg I was on last year, he's done all right. I think he's probably winning it with the look of it. Jamie's had a few, Jamie Wilde. I need a, a good finish. I really do. Concentrate and get this in because I've not had a fish for ages. And this isn't the fish that I saw at top, this is smaller than the one I saw. But we'll take it, folks, we'll take it. Maybe about a pound and a half, maybe two at the very most. Changing wafters and different colour wafters, different goos, different different things. Keep testing that wafter because I've noticed that that's that's not right. That's because it's been in so long they don't seem to sit right. that make sure it's okay yeah that's okay so yes I uh, don't know how apparently Elsick is fishing quite difficult I think I'm not sure I don't know Paul's getting on and I've no idea how I'm getting apparently it's fishing it is fishing fairly difficult so I don't know how good my 30 pound or so is no idea I'll just get this one back out get that layer on nice and firm and then just squeeze a bit on top there we go so I've got to have another go out there see if the big one that I saw will uh, I'll take this. So there we go, that's your update. There's probably, let's have a look. 25 minutes left. Let's just keep as fingers crossed we can get another couple before it uh, before the whistle goes. No idea how I'm doing. Just have to hope. Like I said this last few hours I've not seen that many fish being caught apart from the guy opposite in peg 18 I think it is. Or 19, is that the one I were in last year? I think so, yeah. He's had one or two, so I think, from what I've seen, I think he's doing the best on that bank for sure. The item right's had one or two, I've heard splashing, but I can't see him, I've heard a bit of splashing. So I couldn't tell you how I'm getting on with my section. Could do with uh, one of those big lumps, a double. Double figure one. Right. We'll probably see you folks, unless I hook into a monster, we'll probably see you folks at the weighing.
43 pounds on there. Hold on. And the other section is. Peg 11 to 23 is Jamie Wilde, 35 pound 10. Go for it. Spend it. Go for it. Go for it. Jamie Wilde. Does anyone know him? Right, third in your match, which is Eddie Bryden from Peg 55, 55-6. Well done, Eddie. Good job I didn't tell you, Eddie. Uh, second in the match is myself with well 64 done. pounds. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. And first is Alan Barker with 60, is 66. 66 pounds. Well done, Alan. 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 Thanks for running it, lads. Yeah. Thank you very much. We'll see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll start from results. I'm going to start in sixth place. They're collecting mm -hmm. £100 as a pair. Team Skimmer Bashers, I believe they're both absent from here. Uh, but they've had 12 points with a weight of £46.8 ounce. Collecting £100 is Matt Ayers and Matt Bretherton, Team Skimmer Bashers. Well, 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 well. Just that, right? <laughs> In fifth place, Gareth Dawson and Emma Pickering with 11 points and a weight of £39.5. They are Team Revolution. In fourth place, we've got uh, Jay Singlehurst and John Kelly, and they are Team Throw It All Over. <laughs> <laughs> They've had seven points with a combined weight of £44.11 ounces. In third place, with seven points, with a slightly better weight of £63.8, it's Team Wafters, which is father and son, Jeff and Nicky Askin. Oh, 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 oh. Your runners up today, they've got a team score, a cumulative team score of four points, a cumulative team weight of £64.9 ounces. It's Eddie Bryden and Sean Stenton. Might just about pay Sean's diesel bill. <laughs> they collect £300 and it will be paid out by PayPal. And your winners, with a perfect score, two points, combined weight to £99.12. Ounces. It's team no bites all the time. <laughs> Not sure that's strictly true in this instance, but uh, Luke Armitage and Alan Barker, two points. <laughs> Just, just, just another mention that they've actually both won the match outright each time, so well done. Well, 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 Thanks for coming, lads. Cheers, Pat. Well Cheers, well done. Cheers, well Cheers well David. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, Graham. <laughs> well right. Um, it is a few days later, as you can see. I'm ready to go to work. It's half past seven in the morning. So I just thought I need to get this video finished. So the Barnsley Feeder Pairs. Um, it's the sixth year that David's been running it. Um, I think it missed a year because of COVID. But it's become very popular and very successful. Everybody seems to enjoy it. And uh, we have again. So on to today. How have we gone on? Right, the day before, nobody caught on the damn head. I, had, I, had a, I saw loads of people today, and there were a few fished it yesterday as well, and they just said it fished rock hard down there, and you needed to be round the fifth, where number 15 was in that area, which was to my left. I was happy with where I was. I have been in that area before. I was on peg 19 the other side last year, so I thought there's got to be some fish around here, and there was, and I've done all right. I had two lines. I didn't bother with the margins. Every time I've tried the margins, I have, I've never had a bite. Uh, Alan Nansen over there, he said, might be worth having a look, he said, but get your short line prepped out towards the middle and search your peg, and that's pretty much what I did, and it's what I did last year. 
I think I ended up with about £50 last year. Um, and right from the off, it was um, an eight, seven, eight pound cab. I think I had eight or nine pound cab right from the off first cast. Get in. And then nothing for a while. So I've searched, basically I've searched the long line. I've prepped the 25 meter line. I've had a look on there. I did have indications. I did have the odd liner, but the liners to me look like bream liners. You can just tell the difference. And when I did eventually hook one of the strange bites, <clears throat> it was a skimmer. And I kept trying it a few times. Never had anything on that short line and neither did um, Matt Ace to my right. He said he caught most of his long. Same with the guy to my left. So basically the best line all day where I've got my bites from has been at, to what, out towards the middle. I've searched left and right, come a little bit short, let it go a little bit longer, just just searching the peg basically. I've lost one fish. It looked, it was ready for going in the net. It looked about two pound-ish. Mirror carp. I'm sure other people's lost them. And I've ended up weighing in exactly 41 pounds, all on the wafter. I've kept changing the wafters. I've had three different colors on. I've caught one on every one. The best one on the day was a yellow one. But I did catch a couple on orange, one on pink, but the Majority have had the bites on a yellow one. Whether it makes that much difference, don't know. We watched the Guru ones, and I think everybody in the country started using pink ones. But I've caught plenty on yellow, so there we go. And £41 out of your zone of 14. So we had sections of seven and a zone of 14. So the competition as a pairs competition. Um, was based on points from 1 to 14. So the lower points you get, the better you do. And I've ended up coming third in my zone and second in my section. I think Brett Clark beat me by a couple of pounds or so, something like that. The one, I think he'd fought, I'd 41 and he'd 43, I think, something like that. So I'm going off memory. So not too bad, not too bad. Three, I was thinking, well, if, uh, Paul Lancaster can sort of, if he can do the same, mid-table, we're all right. But, I mean, I didn't know where he'd drawn. He's, we'd not got each other's numbers because it was a last-minute call. Apparently, he, I mean, he knows that place inside out. I've, I've recently looked, and he, he does. He wins quite a bit down there. But he, he's just drawn off the fish. It was obvious where the fish were, and they certainly weren't in his area. There's not been a lot of weights caught, I think. I think six pound was the best round him. Um, Nick Speed only had one fish. And he's ended up with two pound 14 ounces for tenth. Another couple of pound would have just got us in the money. Because we've ended up with 13 points. So thanks for filling in, Paul. And uh, unlucky, mate. I know what it's like when you just draw off them because it happens to me loads of times. So we've ended up with 13 points and 12 points was in the money. Damn it. <laughs> just missed out. Just missed out on his section. Just missed out on, on his uh, pairs. But what a fantastic day. Woody, absolutely sick as a parrot when he drew on Damn And it's been obvious when we looked at weights, there's been quite a few fish down there. Because I think... As it first, second, third and fourth has come from down, uh, sorry, in his zone, first, second, third and fourth come from down there. So the fish do move, don't the folks? And, and last year, there were a few fish there. I think the winner came from there last year. So, you know, he's had a decent day, he's £64. I mentioned £60, you're going to be right up there. 66 won it. Um, I think Woody had 64 and I think there was a 62 for third. So uh, it was Alan Baker. So going on to the winners, Luke Armitage has drawn peg eight on um, Elsica. And he's had a cracking day. He's sat patient on a window feeder, window feeder, filled it in, sat patient on it, had 12 green for 30 odd pound, absolutely destroyed the field. Well done, Luke Armitage. And Alan Park the, and the Gablino gear on, I think it was peg 19, where I was last year. He's had 66 pounds. And he's also won his zone. So they've got the perfect two points. Alan Barker and Luke Armitage are this year's Barnsley feeder pairs 
champions and also the mightiest pair of fishermen. <laughs> So there we go, it's been a great day, seen loads of people, I had one of my viewers come up, bring me a lovely Yorkie bar, man's bar, beautiful, absolutely next to a cup of coffee, so I think that, um, it's my kryptonite's names, I'm pretty sure he said his name was John, I didn't get his surname, so thank you very much, much appreciated, and uh, great seeing loads of you people on the bank and having a little chat. Always helps the day pass by nicely, so thank you. And we shall see you pretty soon, I'm sure. So there we go, Woody. Um, got to say, great idea that pairs. Thanks for putting this um, these series of matches together over the last six years. It's been absolutely fantastic. Everybody loves it. I'm pretty sure it'll be a sellout again next year. So well done, Woody. And Graham Wall, as the organisation, oh, always do a great job so uh, thanks very much me and tinsy did help out on the day at fleet's dam so well done me and tinsy yeah <laughs> well there we go folks lovely day i've enjoyed it a little bit of patience needed uh, no panicking needed it was just a case of i hope that you drop on a fish it's becoming like winter fishing now it's not a case of building your peg up so much anymore it might work a little bit but not like it would in the summer it's been a I've thoroughly enjoyed the day and thoroughly enjoyed the match. So there we go. That is the Barsley feeder pairs all over. Looking forward to it again next year. Right, what's next for me? It's a golden rod at Lindon Lakes on Saturday. So we'll see where we get drawn and see how we get on there. So hope you enjoy the video folks. Don't forget it is absolutely free to subscribe to my channel. If you click that notification bell, you will get uh, and give it you will get all our videos as we upload them and a thumbs up would be very very nice so until next time we shall see you on the bank at Lindome Lakes in the Golden Rod so don't forget folks take care and it's on.